Hello viewers, welcome today to a session of Remote Desktop Session Host. As you can see, we are connected to an RD web and we're using the HTML version of Remote Desktop, which is the web client released by Microsoft Windows. So here we're logging into a domain um, um, and that's our Alex domain, MJ12 username and password is the password seen in the dots. So we're gonna sign on to the um, to the web client and we're gonna see a collection. So let's sign in. Now we can see we've got a work resource and that's basically our our collection over here um, in our session base uh, desktop that was created on the server. So let's click on it and let's see what happens. Now we're gonna select, we're gonna deselect these ones for the demonstration because we don't wanna um, do. We're gonna keep on the clipboard. We're gonna select allow. And we're going to connect directly to the desktop. And as we can basically see, um, we're now basically in the HTML5 uh, version of RD Web. Then we can make it full screen. As you can see, uh, we're now in full screen, 1080p. Uh, so that's the full screen. If I press the escape key, it makes it smaller. Now, if I go to, for example, and let's say I go to Microsoft Edge and I go to google.com and let's say we want to watch a video. So let's say, say, the dark mod, for example. And let's go to the side over here just to give an idea. Give you time for the process of the video. And basically, you can see the video is playing. So you can see that the you can see that we're using hardware accelerated graphics in this virtual the machine. Dark mod. The Dark Mod is a free first-person stealth game where you play as a master thief in a gothic steampunk world. Inspired by the original Thief games from Looking Glass Studios, the gameplay is very similar. However, the Dark Mod does not. So basically, as you can see, we can watch videos on this session-based virtual desktop. Um, if we go to Task Manager, we also see we have a console user, so the user logged into the console at the screen. And then we have the remote desktop user, which is us logged into this Chrome user. And we can see we logged in and we basically have two users. Then we can add more users depending how powerful this PC is. And that basically um, we'll have more users logging on. Um, now in performance, we can see we have not much CPU being used. Got spikes here and there. We have basically a Ryzen 6 core processor. Um, we have a bit of, bit of network connectivity being chewed up here. Um, we have an SSD over here. And we have um, 12.9 gigs available. So this does chew up a bit of RAM, actually, the more users logged in. Okay. Um, now the um, now this is a virtual, this is a virtual um uh, Windows Server 2025. Uh, so this is a virtual Windows Server 2025 data center um, that is running on VMware, and it's basically virtualizing a, uh, a network, not network, a um, a, graph, a GPU. But uh, I will show you that it's enough to play these two games, and I'll let me run them over here, just to give an example. Uh, it's possible to run these games in the web browser. And let me show you over here uh, for this demonstration. Um, so let me press escape. Single player, go. And let me just go to run that. And let's start. So as you can see, we can actually run this game in a web browser through RDP. Um, so this game is actually running in Chrome uh, through a remote desktop session host. So the whole thing is running in a web browser, basically. 
Um, and believe it or not, we can actually play this game uh, as if it's running locally within this computer. So I don't have this game installed uh, in this um, in, in in this machine anyway. Now, of course, performance will vary depending on your virtual machine. Uh, if you were to run this game bare metal, uh, your performance probably will actually uh, benefit even higher as well, as you would actually have a real GPU, not a virtualized GPU, like the VMware SVGA or whatever it is they call it anyway. Um, so, you know, probably a, you know, uh, NVIDIA 2000 series, 3000 series, 4000 series RTX would probably give you much better um, performance anyway. But anyway, that's the end of the demonstration of this game. So I'm going to exit over here and press backspace. And we're going to exit over here and end the race and get rid of this virtual keyboard out of the way. So that was basically one of the games. And I'll show what, what, we, are, what we are virtualizing so we all know what's happening anyway. Windows tools. And let me take it to uh, computer management uh, and go to A D M I N I S T R A T O R G R E A T 257. Okay. And device manager. Okay. So this is the VMware SVGI 3D. So that's our virtualized GPU. Okay. So it's enough for some of the older games to work. So for newer games um, like you know, Human Revolution of the USCX, Tom Raider, Assassin's Creed, that won't work with these with this one. You will have to basically put this this virtual machine to a bare metal PC with a much more powerful GPU, but it should theoretically speaking work with this setup in a bare metal environment. Um, and of course, this is what we're using to access the machine directly over there. So your your games need to access this one over here, theoretically speaking. It won't work with this one over here. Uh, in theory, if this was running bare metal with the right GPU, you should be able to run things like PCS X2 emulation, Xbox 360 emulation, Xbox emulation. Again, just be wary, not all keyboard commands work. So let me show over here, um, just for starters, and I'll take you over here to a game that doesn't have all the keyboard commands that do work in this RD web. So I'm going to take it to games and I'll sock you portable and I'll go to over here. Uh, this is one, one example um, that had problems with it, um, but it works with the arrow keys. So I'm going to press um, escape. So I press WASD to move my keyboard commands. It actually doesn't do anything. I can move with my mouse. But I cannot really move the key, cannot really move the character with the WASD command. If I want to press jump, that doesn't work. But if I use my arrow keys, I can actually move the play with my arrow keys. So only the arrow keys work with this game, but not the rest of the keyboard commands work. Now, if you want to take the full advantage of this game, then you actually need to use either Remina or the remote desktop command, the remote desktop application that comes with Windows, which is the MSPSC um, application that's built into Windows for this game to fully work properly. Of course, you will not be able to turn around with this, with this, with this, um, with the mouse, as um, as unfortunately you will need to pass through your mouse to the. Um, to the to, to the machine anyway um so unfortunately um i would advise to be careful which games to put in remote desktop session host or any bdi as this unfortunate this moving around is both a problem both in rd web and normal rdp um clients as well anyway but nonetheless uh it can play around a bit um, but as I said, it's not really playable, neither in web client or in normal RDP anyway. So that's Escape. And the last game I want to show you that, that I found it quite interesting and it did work. But I'm going to have to basically um, pause the video a bit anyway. Um, so it is Need for Speed Poor Share that I haven't showed you yet. Um, and that's quite interesting because it actually, it actually uses quite a bit of bandwidth. It's a very bandwidth intensive game. Um, so I'm going to basically pause the video. And once I get into the game, then I'll resume it. Because the thing is, it takes quite a while for the game to start up. Um, 
particularly because actually the, it, it, it processes the menus. But once it's in the game, it works pretty fast anyway. So I pause the video, and once I'm in starting the game, I'll come back up. Three, two, one, go! Okay, so here we are playing Need for Speed 5 Porsche. Um, we're playing on RDP here uh, on Chrome. Um, so this is coming from the remote desktop session host server on a virtual machine. As you can see, I've got the um, got my web, web browser there, uh, Chrome. So as you can see, uh, the game works pretty well, the game. Um, so you can see how the game responds. I've uh, got AI in the game. So, as you can see, it responds pretty well. Um, so, yes, um, can't complain on the performance. Um, it basically works as if the game has been installed locally. Anyway, that's the end of the demonstration of this game. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so as you can see, this game does use quite a bit of uh, resources on the bandwidth. Um, if you were to play this game quite continuously within an hour, you could chew up greater than 10 gigs within the hour anyway. Um, I actually did a benchmark and I could see I was chewing about anywhere between 50 to 60 megabits per second. Um, and sometimes over Wi-Fi, sometimes it chuckles a bit because due to the half duplex nature. Um, so you do need to uh, not put too much, not not to um, put it on lossless on the R RDP. Uh, keep it within the default settings. Um, the less compression you do on the RDP side, the more bandwidth you will need. Um, so um, the default settings is best to keep it within. 50 to 60 megabits per second, and make sure you use a very high speed wireless connection. Um, something like AX, for example, Wi Fi AX, some of that would, should do anyway. Um, so I'm going to quit this game right now. Exit, uh, quit, uh, exit to Windows. Yes. So um, a Wi Fi will give you something like 1.2 gigabits per second, um, would should do anyway. Um, that would be my recommendation. I wouldn't use anything less than that. Um, if you are planning to to reduce compression in artifacts in your RDP, then you might have to consider using maybe a full duplex um, um, Cat Five V or Cat Six cable gigabit connection anyway. And of course, the more users that is connected to the uh, RDS the greater bandwidth they will need to have on the server as well because it is very intense. So they've got things like AutoCAD, and it doesn't really matter if it's, if it's RDSH or VDI. At the end of the day, uh, the server uh, would have to have a very powerful network um, throughput coming through, and it's a very network-intensive uh, process indeed anyway. Um, and to show what version of Windows you're running, I'm going to go here to WinVer. Uh, here we're running Microsoft Windows Server version 24H2 OS build. And basically, it's um, Windows Server 2025 data center, basically, what we're running here anyway. So, this is to be basically formerly known as terminal services. Um, uh, but now it's basically now, basically now called remote desktop services. So uh, this is actually not really well known, the RD web and the web, the HTML5 web client. Most people who install RDS connect through this application over here. I'll just show you over here, remote. Um, let me just show over here, this one over here. Um, most people connect through this application over here, remote desktop connection. Uh, this is the most popular one. Uh, yes, this is the most compatible one um, to use. Um, all of your keyboard commands would work, particularly in games. Um, so if a game is not responding to your keyboard commands, this would actually work. 
um, believe it or not. Um, I have tried it and it does work. So the HTML5 is more for um, applications where you might not have this program installed. So that could be things like a Linux box, um, a Mac OS box, um, a Chrome OS box, for example, Chromium books, uh, where this RD web client might actually be used for instances where this part uh, might not actually come with the um, with, with the operating system. Uh, we know that Linux does have Remina. Sometimes the web client might actually be, might actually be more appropriate if Remina is not installed by default anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you know, I know that RD web client does not get taught, it's not really mentioned really much. I haven't went through the install process, but um, um, I might actually maybe, uh, maybe one day may go through it, um, it, it you know. Um, but um, look, uh, if you are interested, um, I am, um, uh, I, 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 I do work, I do have my own business. Um, and feel free to drop a, a line or anything. Um, um, we can sort out something, um, and, um, um, so I'll share my, leave any comments, anything like that, basically, um, 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 and, um, we'll go from there anyway. Um, so thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video on remote desktop session host on RD Web Client. This is what the video has been about for what RD Web Client, and um, and yes, um, I hope uh, it's been that nature to log out. Simply go to here, and you go to sign out, and and of course that basically gives you back to the web site, and then sign out from over here, and you brought back to this signing page over here. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice one. Bye.